Nick fan. This is the equivalent of being kidnapped, stored in a basement, being tortured, and then they let you out when you're of no use to anybody. I mean, you just can't make this up. I'm telling you right now, I got an attitude with everybody. Everybody, welcome to the Hump Day Show. I'm Linkster 101, JP. That is Los, uh, which is Public Enemy 59, Public Enemy 059. And we also have the man behind the camera, Elias, uh, doing the tech part here. So we want to go ahead and just give the state of the NBA on the Hump Day Show. Uh, essentially, we are on the cusp of game six. Uh, which should be tomorrow uh, between the Raptors and Golden State. Of course, they played recently and Golden State beat them at home uh, by one point. <clears throat> Essentially, Kevin Durant came in that game and uh, he injured his Achilles heel one more time. And uh, Toronto cheered. And Toronto cheered. That's which, what happens. That's uh, what which, happens when you're spiteful people <laughs> and you don't you don't get humbled. You're drinking all that drink lemonade, talking shit out of your ass. Uh, right? You see a, a, a player who's given his offer to his team get injured? That's what happens, man. Well, That's what uh, happens when you think you you up here, you start belittling people, you lose. Well, um, I, comes around. I've seen the, Instantly. the Warriors do worse, so it's, it's okay. I've seen them injure players, so I'm not going to uh, uh, not, not uh, talk crap about Toronto. I'm glad that they did that. Uh, I remember You're when glad they that, that they cheered for yeah, a I remember player when, being when injured. Golden, I'm, I'm, I remember when Golden State injured Kawhi Leonard in his first series. Yeah, State you don't, cheered. you don't, you don't so, go down uh, to, me, to the to level me, even kill, of other people. So, You're the, so, you got to be the better so man. Let's, let's move forward. Essentially, the next game is over. I think that Golden State no, 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 should, no. should win uh, at home. <laughs> uh, they game six is on the road for the Raptors, so I think they should uh, win. Uh, Golden State should win this game six and then go home. Uh, to the Raptors and lose to Toronto in Game Seven, but uh, it's not going to happen. This past, this, this if game it goes five, to a Game Seven, that momentum, it's all gone for Toronto. All the momentum they had, I agree. It's gone with this game right here. Yeah, because that agree. just, I mean, they they had it. Should have been done. Should have been done at home. Should have been celebrated. We should have been talking about Toronto championship. Fucking mm-hmm. talking about Kawhi Leonard in the clutch. Um, Obviously, uh, you know, Kawhi is one of the few players in the history of the NBA that can do what, it, uh, what he did in Game 5. Uh, unfortunately, well, no, not unfortunately, uh, uh, Golden State did, made the right defensive play and said, we're just going to double Kawhi and whoever else on this uh, team can try and beat us, that's fine. And the ball got to Lowry, and obviously he couldn't perform. You know, just like some uh, some Houston Rocket players, I, I know. Um, but I mean, it. I, I see this game going the long, uh, like you say, Game Seven. And if it goes to Game Seven, I'm sorry, but Golden State taking that with all that momentum. No way they're gonna let that Game Seven uh, get out of their hands. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you, this is the Golden State National Basketball League, and uh, you just gotta. You, uh, you got to learn to live in this world. So, uh, essentially, we, well, as I mentioned before, we're going to do the State of the NBA. So, right now, uh, we're, at the end of June, is the free agency. Uh, essentially, the big names are Kevin, Kevin Durant. Uh, there's Kyle Lowry. Uh, he's going to stay in Toronto. So, not Kyle Lowry. I'm talking about Ky- Kyrie Irving. Uh, is on the move. Uh, Kyrie Irving has been rumored to go to the Brooklyn Nets. Stephen A. Smith has been talking about it constantly. Other people have also brought it up that he's mentioned it. Um, but he was willing to go wherever KD I think goes. he wants to get out of Boston. I mean, seeing as all uh, this whole season played out and he was trying to be that leader and he was trying to show that, you know, A, he was calling them fools out throughout the season too. You know, these kids need to grow up. They think things just, you know, they don't understand work ethic. Boom, boom, boom. Just calling people out. You know I think I mean? he was so, just part of the problem. I think he was part of the problem. I, I think, think so, that man. his injury, and not only that, they were trying to bring uh, Gordon Haywood in back from his injury. I think that was That's a mistake, true. too. So uh, it, it just it messed up the dynamic of the team. I think Gordon Haywood, from the way he played this season, he did not play the way he usually plays mm-hmm. when he is healthy. So That's I think true. they just messed up. So overall, that those are the main main ones, the main two free agents. KD uh, course, is rumored. Yeah, to but, but KD, agent. this injury, he should not have played. 
Uh, this you injury, he, this injury is going to screw Man, him up. Did you bad. see that video of his cow? Like someone, some people yeah, it popped. on his cow. Like it it's popped. straight up popped. He's not going to be oh, the I same put it player. On Twitter. If it was me, I would have, I would have dropped on that floor, squirmed like a little bitch, like a fucking roach on rain, bro. I would have been like, I'm surprised he like he, hopped out. He of went all out. The and fuck out. He should not have played. He was trying to prove he a point. Have. He should but not have no, played. No, I mean, hey man, you're doing it for your team. You know, you remember them old school days. We're playing I, yeah, uh, but indoor you're, soccer. But when, you're when getting you, your ass busted. You get your ass up and you when get that for the squad. Heel, when it's in Achilles heel, you don't do that. You you take your time. You give it a year. You heal it. Well, he got to, you, you, you rehab you know, it. He got well, the off I mean, season. So. so, yeah. Well, not, I mean, those are the main two free agents. I feel like this uh, hurt KD. But either way, he's going to be offered the max deal regardless, I think. And supposedly, um, what's his name? The eyebrow. Uh, oh, so yes. So Anthony he's Davis, to get moved, right? but he's not. He's not a free agent. So I right know now, he's not a free just, agent, just sticking so to New free Orleans agents. Is... Just sticking to free agents. There's Jimmy Butler, of course, from Philadelphia, and also, he's kind of acknowledged that he's moving, right? On his Twitter, it kind of sounded like he was, he was, he, a, he was a stand. He did, but I don't, I don't think it would benefit him if he left. I mean, he was Philly, calling his player. Oh no, Derrick Rose. I forget who it was. Yeah, bro. Someone We're talking just, about the, the the main East. Like Jimmy Butler, he did call out his teammates earlier, but uh, that was back in Memphis. But uh, right now, uh, Jimmy Butler's also a free agent, so that's very good. The Rockets could pick him up. Uh, the Rockets also came out and said they're going to trade everybody except for James Harden. No, I mean, they just we'll said happens. everybody's on the table. They'll be done to get rid of uh, what's his name. Defensive well, you heard Ken, you heard the rumors that Clint PJ. Capella, Clint Capella might be traded to the Boston Celtics. Yeah, Clint Capella needs to go. He needs to go. He uh, needs to go. So, I mean, there's that rumor Bye. out there. <laughs> uh, Mr. Butterfinger himself might might make that move. Um, so, essentially, right now, uh, the main the main free agent, Kimball Walker, is still out there. Of course, it's free agent. Oh, Kimball. The Marcus Cousins is going to be a free agent Ooh. as well. Of course, he's coming back from that injury. He he's been playing good and not good in, yeah. in the finals. He had a good game five. Uh, uh, made some plays. He had some bad calls against him. That goaltending, where he that tipped it in, that was not a goaltend. That was goaltend. No, it wasn't goaltend. Not he, the block. Was, yeah, it didn't come. It, 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 it didn't come out of the the. the bro, it's a rule in the NBA. Out. No, no, that was coming out. No, it wasn't, bro. That was a, no, 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 the refs. I'm glad the replay system exists. Even though it don't, it's not a perfect system, but um, these refs are something else, bro. I, I mean, well, I'm surprised if I was a, uh, uh, oh man, I'm forgetting everybody's fucking name today. Uh, uh, man, I would have gotten a, a technical for sure, seeing a bunch of those fucking plays that these refs are, uh, yeah, calling, man, these, these calls is ridiculous. But he's man, gonna hey, be, I gotta give it to Toronto though, that crowd was was freaking loud man they were yeah they won a championship yeah they want hey man they were all in none of this so pussy shit i've yeah, seen other things so, that have put on. so another another big thing would be anthony davis of course uh from new orleans they did try to bring him in and tell him hey man we have the first round pick of the future zion williams and he was like nah i don't give a damn trade me yeah and he wants to <laughs> So, so he, I saw it. He wants to, he, from, from what I'm understanding from the news that I'm getting, as far as ESPN and Yahoo um, Sports and C CBS, they basically said the Knicks are his favorite, and so is LA. So the Knicks have two two max deal. So do the LA Clippers, and I believe uh, who else made a max uh, uh, deal, Elias, in this motherfucker? There was another team that has two slots. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's another team that has two slots. Uh, <clears throat> it's not the Lakers. It's uh, no, the Lakers do. The Lakers have the, the capability of getting two uh, max players. So do LA Clippers. So do uh, um, no, the, sure. the the Knicks. And of course, it just it's just going to be very interesting because a lot of these teams they bottomed out, and especially the New York Knicks. And everyone knows about Dolan and, and his ownership skills. Which I'm glad he's not our owner. Um, I hear that he, he just wants – he acts like the GM a lot there. and He hinders the, the Knicks organization. Uh, essentially, Cleveland is not going to do much. Um, I think Miami not going to do much. Uh, a lot of these teams, they just they, – they're in that cusp. They're just a player away, I think. 
Um, but the free agent market is going to be big just for second round. Uh, sec- Derrick Rose is also going to be on there, uh, of course. He signed that one year with Memphis. Uh, so a lot of these players are going to be out. I wish I had a complete list of all. I only know the big eight free agent ones. Also, we have to see if Clay, time- Clay Thompson resigns with the Warriors. Uh, no way he's even going to say. I think when it comes to KD and like Thompson, like you're straight up leaving your a championship team. Yeah. Like, why would you do that? Like, I don't, well, I don't understand. I understand. Like, I understand the, KD because KD. Why? Uh, because KD left uh, a team that was up over if the Golden Warriors three one, and then he went to join the whole three one. Yeah, because if I mean, Golden that's, State that's wins a, the championship without move. KD, that just kind of shows, bro. You didn't. That's the only reason I see him leaving. Is if the Golden State do, do win the championship, it kind of shows everybody they don't really need KD. They don't really need KD. Like KD, what didn't make this team a champ? They were already a championship team. They did it again. That's the only reason I would see him leaving to try to leave and prove something. But I, I mean, I see Kyrie leaving for sure. I'm not. I'm not set on Brooklyn though. Unless, unless he said it, he was. He's, he's already let it be known. No, a lot. he's. He's leaving, but I'm just not 100% sure it's Brooklyn, especially if KD doesn't go with him. Like, if he doesn't get another superstar with him, he's not going to do the same thing. He uh, and, same. He's not going to try the same experiment in Boston and, Brooklyn can and try to two, carry the team by himself. Brooklyn can get two uh, maximum free agents, too. And also, uh, speaking of, of eight free agents, um, uh, Celtics are losing some of their, their bench, too. Uh, that guy that, I forgot his name. Um, the guy that Terry, can be the Terry? Star- No, uh, Terry Rozier. Uh, Scary yeah. Terry, yeah. So, so Terry Rozier is going to be a free agent, and he's going to want to be a starter. Um, and See, he, he, if Boston loses Kyrie, if they lose some of these other players, they got to keep Scary Terry. No way they can lose him because well, he's they, a big – He's the, a free the agent. fan base loves him. Yeah, oh, that's what I'm saying. You got to sign him like, because I doubt you'll get some other free agent off the market. It, it, you know, so you got to try to keep as much of that team together. And and remember, before Kyrie, that team made a run. I mean, granted, it was with... Um, I'll hold forward. Because Kyrie uh, got hurt. It was with the, the one they traded from Cleveland. Um, the one they traded from Cleveland. Uh, you're talking about... Uh, oh, two Cleveland, Ky- I'm sorry. Uh, for, uh, it was Kyrie Irving, and it was... Uh, uh, about little man. Oh, we're talking uh, about Isaiah right Thomas. Yeah, th- that is basically kind of the same team, plus Isaiah Thomas, and they made a deep run. So I think this this young team, minus I, I, uh, Kyrie Irving, can still make a run. I feel like you're maybe you're right. Kyrie Irving affected the, the chemistry of that squad. Um, There's so many good players. And then not only that, we still got Kawhi Leonard. If he, if he, I think if Toronto wins the championship, he stays. He's not staying. He's not uh, staying. I'm sorry to tell you. I think that's another I, one. I'm not seeing the videos. These motherfuckers try to fist bump this motherfucker. This motherfucker stares at, at them like dumb motherfuckers. Because he's like, man, focus on the fucking game. No, bro. This uh, this guy does not like being in Toronto. He's going to win the championship just to prove everybody, especially San Antonio, you dumb fucks. And then he's going to flip out and get a max contract at, the, at wherever he wants. Maybe even with LA. I could see him going to LA with the well, Lakers. He's not going to be with the Lakers. He already said he's not going to be anywhere where LeBron is. And that's another thing, too, because as I mentioned before several times over this podcast, uh, LeBron James will never win the championship ever again. It's over, it's done. Uh, he's in the West now where the real power is. And uh, he's seen firsthand how trash he can be uh, with a shitty team. Uh, he, he joined LA uh, as a business move, I think. Uh, he joined with uh, Magic Johnson, who kind of stabbed him in the back with that move of, of quitting. But he wanted to be with Magic Johnson so he could sh- show him the ropes on the business side of things. Um, LeBron James is not about winning championships anymore. He's about business. No. And I don't hate him for that if he wants to do that. But don't compare him to Michael Jordan at all moving forward. Um, so those are the major free agents right now. As far as trade rumors, as I mentioned before, the Rockets are involved in a lot of that. Uh, of course, um, a lot of things are coming out as far as Memphis, uh, Dallas as well, with the whole thing with uh, the, the rape rumors of um, uh, Porzingis. Uh, so that's something to look out to because he could be suspended uh, should anything occur. Uh, it's still in litigation from what I'm aware. Am, am I correct with that, Elias, with Porzingis? Sure. Um, so essentially Porzingis got some rate charges over the off season, um, something along those lines with the model. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't so believe that... it. 
So I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. I'm no, not gonna say nothing, but brings it up. <laughs> it's true. It's true though. Like, Why are you talking about it? It doesn't matter. It's because not he pretending might be, to basketball. Because uh, because he might be suspended for the remaining of the year, and they were the whole core of Dallas was Porzingis and that young player from Europe. Uh, what's his name? Uh, that little ass dude. I forget his name. Fuck. All these dudes have weird ass fucking names. Um, but that that was like gonna be the core group. It was gonna be like Steve Nash and Dirk Nowinski all over again. And, all right. Uh, well, uh, Golden State in seven. I've been calling it all year. <laughs> and right away, Game Five proved me right. I mean, hey, anything can happen. But if it gets to Game Seven, if Toronto does not take it at Golden State, which I doubt it in that building, I don't see the the Splash Brothers going, uh, you know, less than fifty percent on three pointers. It, it's if it goes the to Warrior, seven, the Warriors. Uh, uh, I see Toronto winning this. The Warriors are giving everything to Toronto, and they're ready to beat Toronto. Uh, and this game, they're they winning. actually had a W is a W. Those three pointers, those three pointers from Kevin Durant will not be there in the next game or the w. game after. Uh, Demarcus Cousins uh, got a lot of these balls, a lot of luck involved in that, to be honest. Uh, the way a lot of bad calls against him, too. Not, not a bad calls. I think the majority was good calls. I think the rest have been fair for the majority part. But it's called on both sides. It's all going to be Yeah, calls. that's true. But, they're, they're, uh, they're trash but in they've general. Been, that's why I don't they, like them. The referees? Yeah, they're referees. Uh, they and these are their them. best of their best. Supposedly. <laughs> uh, Scott Foster is not one of the best of the best. This is their uh, best of the best. Yeah. And they, they can't make a right call. And it's funny how the NBA uh, playoffs and all that is still interesting without LeBron James. It makes one wonder. What a stupid ass decision he made to go to the Lakers like a dumbass. Wow, someone can't get LeBron James out there now, ever. It's just funny to me. No it's matter what. I had better hopes for him. All up on that dick. He went to that shitty ass team with a shitty ass legacy. Uh, he never won a championship for him again. Doesn't matter. Uh, go to State in seven. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little small talk of the NBA. Lowe's keeps going back to game five. I don't know why, but he keeps talking over and over. Going to State in seven. Uh, but uh, we'll see what happens with Sorry. the NBA. Yeah, Hopefully that. we have more information yeah, on, on June 30th uh, during the podcast. Once the free agents are available, we can cover that for you guys. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Click the link. Golden uh, State Basketball uh, uh, League. The bell below. Also, <laughs> uh, hear us out on Spotify. We're on Anchor. We're GSBA. On, on iTunes. GSBA. Uh, what is GSBA? GSBA. I don't Golden know State the... Basketball Association. <laughs> oh, GSBA. Let's go. So thank you. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, bitches. <laughs>